Hey, welcome to another Flights with Joel. Another little fly around some scenery. I keep using orbit scenery because that's what I have purchased the most of. This is Minuteman 6B6, part of the Plum Island scenery. This is the second airport you get. Rather than flying all the way over here, I decided I would just pop right in and have a look around. I'm in the Bell UH-1D Iroquois from Aerosoft. I'm going to turn on my track IR. And this um, helicopter looks a little dated compared to today's modeling, but I still think it's a great little aircraft and it's um, it's fun for looking around airports and stuff like that. Look at the grass here. This is winter, obviously. I mean, it's winter. It's not snowing. I don't have real weather on. It slows down videos. And uh, lots of little planes parked around here. And uh, there's something, I think, I don't know if these are rocks or big piles of sand that they have put at the end of this runway because this runway has an X on it. So it is no longer in service. You're not supposed to take off from here. I just thought that was a nice little detail. And now, I'm going to cruise over here and check out some more details. Uh, this is really cool. I love all these hangars. Closed and open hangars, aircraft, and then there's the airport buildings. Got lots of different varieties of trees. All the leaves have fallen off. Love the detail of the cars, airport buildings. I'm just going to stop here for a minute in case anyone wants to get off and have a hundred dollar burger. All right, that should have given everyone enough time. On with the show. Need to get your mail. Some mailboxes there, someone cleaning up. Always oh, somebody cleaning up. Man, they're gonna hate me. I'm do a little flyby. A little turnaround. I have to admit, the surrounding scenery, for some reason, is not as detailed or as sharp as the Plum Island scenery. I'm not sure why, not sure what the reason for that is. There was a warning bell. I think it didn't like me flying towards the ground like that. The uh, radar got set off a little bit. And the 
the other thing about this is, of course, it, it doesn't blend as well when you get out of the scenery area, for me, because I have no uh, vector or global or any of that cool stuff. I have uh, three different region, regions, I think, and I don't know, for now, it seems like enough. I still enjoy flying around here just because it's another really cool little airport. What is my height? I might have enough height here. Not a bad little area, lots of lakes, fairly rural, not far from the big cities though. You see that gray area out there that goes back to the standard P3D. Now I'm going to head back towards the runway. Let's see how quickly I can crash this helo. We still got lots of uh, rotor. Using altitude 2,000 feet per minute, so that's a little fast. Let's back it off. There we go. I think that's about the right speed. It doesn't look like I'm going to make the airport. sparks. So, that didn't work out the best. Bit of a tail strike. And way long. I will keep working on it, even though it's probably a ridiculously bad representation of an auto-rotation. Say that three times fast. Thanks a lot for flying around along. Uh, subscribe for more videos. I know you want to get notified right away. Do them as often as I have time. Thanks for joining me.